Liberalism involves an idea of the relationship between people, individuals, and the larger collectivities or structures that we, that we live inside. Uh, liberalism is usually attached to another word, which is liberal democracies, which um, suggests and, and means, actually doesn't just imply it, it, it means that people have some control over the systems within which they live. So we, in a, in a liberal democracy, we as individuals have a vote. We don't just have to vote with our employer or with our father or with our brother. We can vote as individuals to make decisions, uh, to, to elect somebody who can make decisions on, on our behalf. We don't vote on everything that happens, but we vote to have someone represent us and somebody else makes, uh, makes decisions, and groups like the Parliament and government um, make decisions on our behalf, but we, the deal is that we get to have some say in the rules by which we agree to be governed. So liberalism assumes that as individuals that's the best place to make that decision rather than the neighborhood. or that, So we make those decisions as individuals, but they have collective, they have to do with collective um, decision-making at some level. Economically, liberalism usually refers to the fact that it's the markets that determine how economies work. This, has, this ties in really deeply with the idea of uh, uh, people act on the basis of self-interest. So that's one pillar of, of the set of beliefs. Another one is that economies sort themselves out. They sort themselves out naturally. So, um, for example, if um, it's really, if people like to um, eat ice cream really a lot, then somebody will see a market uh, and, and will start making a lot of ice cream, and that ice cream that used to be very rare and very, very expensive will become much less costly because it will be made in bigger quantities and more people will buy it. The price will come down and it's win-win for everybody. The, co the company or corporation will, will make its money and that will be great and the people will have their need for ice cream uh, being met. Um, so that's kind of a market, um, liberal m market theory. Um, uh, many, many countries, including Canada, have um, historically tampered with that, have d decided we can't leave everything up to the state. For example, um, if there are poor people who don't have enough to eat, we can't really, the capitalist and liberal capitalist formations don't necessarily meet the needs of, of the poor people. And in fact, a lot of people historically suffered tremendously in the Industrial Revolution towards the end of the 19th century in Britain, the first country to industrialize, because precisely because the, the government, because the other part of this is that governments do, under liberalism, governments are not seen as, uh, they're seen as meddling or interfering if they say, no, we're going to have a policy that we're going to tax the population and they're going to give us money and we're going to use that money to create things for the public good, like programs uh, providing free milk to, to school children, or uh, we're going to create uh, standards for road building and railways that are safe um, rather than dangerous. So there's been a, there's a, the kind of liberalism that we've had in, in Canada and indeed everywhere in, in, in Europe uh, in particular and North America has been tempered by this idea that yes, for most things, let's just let the market click on and it will, it will do its thing that will ultimately work in the best interest of the most people. But we need what's come to be called a sort of a social safety net for the areas that are too important or simply don't fit in with, a, in with, the, um, with that, that model of, of, of liberalism.